How's it going guys? Yamatosh here, back with another video. And before I get into this video, I'd like to mention that I just got this iPhone SE 64 gigs on iOS 11.1.2 off eBay by a guy who said he hadn't used his device because he just got in the iPhone 10. And I was so lucky that he had this on iOS 11.1.2 or I would not be able to do this today. So I mean, we could cheer him up. He won't really know i don't think he's into jailbreaking but anyway let's get right into the video so now this video was inspired by everything apple pro and this is my own take on the fluid enabler the fluid enabler is now in beta 2 and it's an awesome tweak not a full tweak but an awesome one it's a port of like the iphone 10 files onto the iphone se or rather any other iphone that is running 11.1.2 and on the SE I'm I'm pretty sure it might be a bit slower on like the 5s and the 6 but on the SE so which is basically the A9 processor it is very fluid the gestures are so natural I'm like where has this been all my life so I use this on my SE and when I pick up my iPhone 10 source my iPhone 7, wow, I jumped, I jumped that one there. When I pick up my iPhone 7 and I swipe up, I open the control center and I'm like, oh wait, this is the, this is not very ergonomic at all. So if I find it difficult holding my home button now, cause the gesture is just so fluid and so convenient. Anyways, the fluid enabler, like I said, is now in beta 2 with more future with an update coming in the future for more settings and a settings pane in the settings app and the setting on the device and all in all i love the multitasking as well so but one one thing you guys should note is that the electra jailbreak which is what i used to enable the exploit to install this iphone 10 files which everything apple pro has mentioned is not very stable i've actually had a few crashes even making this video i'll show you some clips right now and well this was the most crashes i got like in the shortest time span i did get a few before but they were like once in like a long period of time but this one was the shortest ones in succession now you guys should note that this is not completely stable we're still waiting on the Libre OS, which is supposed to be the more the more f finished version of the jailbreak with Cydia as well, as this does not have Cydia. But all in all, this is a great step for jailbreak. iOS 11, can you, you almost cannot imagine that we still have jailbreak in iOS 11 at this point in time. Anyway guys, it's been Yummy Touch. I hope you guys learned something from this video. See you again next time and peace.